Hey guys, I now have Surviving Mars in my official game store. Woohoo! And there was much rejoicing, and I thought to celebrate, we'd have a bit of a series of Surviving Mars. But this, this series is going to be a bit different. We're going to do challenge mode, which I haven't tried before. And I had a look at some of the challenges, and actually some of the challenges are pretty darned interesting. Um, you can bring up a list, there's like 30 different challenges, and some of them are really quick, like... Uh, okay, so have four fully occupied living complexes, or... Refuel and launch a, launch a rocket. Like, can you do that in three days? It's a good question. Uh, complete the founder stage. Perfect time for that. Six days. Six, how can you complete the founder stage in six days? You'd have to have a baby. Really. Oh, man. I, yeah, that would be... That would actually be a bit of a challenge. But the one we're going to do... There's, there's loads of them. There's all kinds of different ones. Uh, the one we're going to do... I would go for drill baby drill have a fully upgraded Mohol mine. Now that's no small challenge because uh, upgrading a Mohol mine, like to get the third upgrade, I mean, it's um, that's a lot of machine parts to get that fully upgrade. So so first of all, you've got to discover it, then you've got to build it, and then you've got to fully upgrade it. That's ah, going to take some doing. And you've got a deadline of 250 days, 250 souls, but the perfect time is only 150 days. I God, that's going to be a challenge, guys. So what do you think? Should we do it? Yeah, of course we will. So uh, now these are all preset, and I, I kind of like this. It's uh, it's totally preset, so you can actually like like challenge your, challenge your mates and like, can you do it faster than me? That kind of stuff. Uh, so uh, let's go to the next screen. How am I going to load out? Well, what I'm going to do, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take polymers. I'm going to take five machine parts. I'm going to take five electronics. Prefab buildings, definitely not taking a sterling generator. Taking a sterling generator at the beginning of these things is generally a bad idea. I mean, it's 400 million for heaven's sake. So that's a lot of cash. We start with, actually, actually I suppose I should have shown you that. I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, but we're gonna, go with, we're gonna go with the drone hub. We're gonna go with a moisture evaporator and a fuel refinery, just so that we can refuel the rocket. And then I go back and go to summary. You can see, so we start with 10 billion in funding. We've got two rockets. 100 research per sol. Uh, we've got a rare metals price of 30, which is pretty darn good. We get the RC harvester, which is like an RC transporter, but it can also harvest concrete, which is, that's really, really good. Uh, we also get the corporate office, so we can employ workers there and generate funding, which is kind of cool. Uh, we can buy applicants with funding. So, uh, additional rockets are significantly cheaper. Now, this is the good stuff. Probes can discover deep rare metal deposits. And we get a bonus tech of deep metal extraction, so we can extract deep metals and deep rare metal deposits right from the beginning. And drones are gradually optimized to work and construct faster until Sol 100. Woohoo! So, loads, loads of stuff. So, uh, we've got our prefab buildings. I am going to take um, one drone, because I've already got a drone hub, so if I build that, I'll get some drones. I just need one drone to actually build it. Uh, I'm going to take um, the RC Harvester because it's pretty awesome. I want to take an RC Explorer. And then I've got five machine parts so that I can build... Um... Actually, do, do I... Oh, I need... No, I need machine parts because I need them for maintaining the, uh, the fuel refinery. And then I want some electronics so I can build some uh, sensor towers. And then the rest of uh, my space and money is going to go into orbital probes. Oh yeah, because I want to get a fast start on this one. So that's what we're going with. Have I got everything? I think I've got everything. Explorer, I'm not taking an RC commander. Uh, I'm not going to take a transport because I've got the harvester. So yeah, that's looking good. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I, I've got to say, I am kind of excited by this challenge. Now I had a little look. I had a little look at this before I started. Um, just to see, let, let's pause the game, uh, just to see kind of what the setup is and whatever, and it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. So we start off in a nice little area, we've got like 1,500 concrete, we've got 87 metals, there's also um, an underground metals deposit there, and we've got a couple of anomalies. So this is where we're going to start off. Now I'm going to start off by, um, by throwing the old rocket down there. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with throwing them. I'm going to save my probes for a little bit because we've already got a couple of things to uh, to 
to go and scan. So I think we're going to put, where are we going to put you down? It's a good point. Um, Cause I was going to put it there, but it might be more sensible to put it like somewhere else. You know what? It's a good question. It's a good question because we've got the harvester. We're not kind of limited to be very close to this. So I'm actually thinking maybe, maybe we should come down a bit, maybe come down into this kind of area. Um, it will mean that our drones can't, you know what? If, if I get that little metals deposit in range, then uh, it'll give our, give our drones something to do. So I'm thinking kind of maybe, maybe there. There we go. Go on, that's where we're going. That's where we're going. Right, so let's get a few things set up. Now we start off with autonomous sensors in our, in our first physics slot. So I'm definitely gonna get that going first. Then I think um, uh, and, ro rockets and shuttles require less fuel. That's gonna be good because that's gonna be able to get our rockets back to Earth sooner. So we'll do that. And then increases research provided by sponsor. That's a good one. The RC transport harvest resources faster, its maximum storage is increased. Now, I don't, you know what? I don't know whether that affects the harvester. Uh, doesn't say, doesn't say the transport and the harvester, but I think it might, I don't know. I guess we could check that out. And then finally, we'll do the moisture evaporator upgrade. Okay, so, uh, should we, um, should we get landed? No, because we've got other things to do. Right, first thing we're gonna do is select a sector to scan. Now what I wanna do is scan the sectors around our immediate area. So, and because I'm down here, we can do like that one. We can put some sensor towers around here so that we can do like all of this area like pretty quickly. So my plan is to try and, try and scan this area as quickly as possible. Um, We'll probably want to do that one. Uh, scan, scan these as quickly as possible. Use my probes to scan other areas which are a bit further away if we run out of things to scan. That's the plan. That's the plan. So we, we try and keep our scanning constant. Uh, yeah, that's, that's basically the plan. Okay, and then uh, the other thing I'm going to do is immediately bring in a resupply rocket. So I want a cargo rocket. What's going to be on this? Can you guess? It's going to be exactly the freaking same. So drone hub, moisture evaporate, fuel refinery, so that we can refuel the rocket. And then we want an RC explorer to explore. We want a harvester. We want one drone so we can build the drone hub. We want, uh, let's say, five machine parts. We want five electronics. And then the rest is going to be some more orbital probes. Oh, hell yeah. Right, launch that. Right, so that's on its way. Cool. Is there anything I've forgotten? Nope, I've got my that set up. I've got my scanning set up. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Go, take it off pause. Woohoo! Here comes our rocket. Now I'm gonna try and rattle through this a bit if I possibly can. Um, because like this this first bit where you're just kind of researching and refueling the rocket kind of takes a bit of time and whatever. Now I want to get the autonomous sensors done as quickly as possible. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go and scan that, which will give me some research points, which would be really nice. Uh, I want my RC harvester to be harvesting over here. So I want the these metals and some concrete. So yeah, load up everything, please. And then unload it back here. Let's get some storage set up, shall we? I think we probably should. So uh, what do I want? Build and storage i'm gonna do my i am gonna do my usual setup though i'm gonna throw in like a couple of universals and i'm gonna have a metal deposit and a concrete metal storage and a concrete storage so let's have a metals depot which is gonna go there and we'll have a concrete depot which is gonna go there hooray right i think we're ready to rock and roll Oh, no, 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 it's one more thing I want to do, which is I want to get the hub built. So drone hub, drone hub. Now the drone hub is going to go out here, but I want it beyond the dust range of the rocket. So 
Okay, the dust range extends to there. So we want the hub here. So let's get drone hub, it's gonna go there. Now if you check before you've started the game, like while you've got it on pause, then you can always demolish it and replace it if you need to. But that is perfect. And then I'm gonna tell my drone, first thing I want you to do is go and work on that. So we can get some more drones. Right, off we go. Woohoo! Alrighty. And as soon as that's built, well, basically as soon as that's built, I'm going to give it a couple of seconds so that these guys can come out. I'm going to get one of these drones and I'm going to assign it over to the rocket. Now, why am I doing that? Well, I want to get as big a spread on my, uh, on my sensor towers as I can. So, sensor towers. We're going to have a sensor tower down here. And again, it'd be really nice if, if this kept these lines up. So I want it down here, so there we go. So I want a sensor tower, like as far down here as I can get. That's as far away as I can get it. So we'll have one going in there, but I'm gonna have another one. Now, if I hadn't built the, the drone hub, then I'd have to put it kind of there. But because I've got the drone hub and I've got drones on both, I can put it over here. Now, obviously I could build it further away if I wanted to and send the drones out. But like for this, for this first bit, This'll do, this'll do, pig. So let's put in a sensor tower going in there, hooray. Is that at the furthest extent? Yes, it is. Cool, and then I think, um, I probably want one, do I want one up there as well? Yeah, I think I probably do. I definitely want one up in this kind of area. So I think, the thing is I want to keep it away from, because, mind you, I'm not going to have a concrete extractor because I'm using the harvester. So I could, yeah, I could, I could actually put it either there or over there or somewhere in between. I'm actually thinking maybe there would probably be better. Go on, we'll put it there. We'll put it right on, right on this spot here. So we want a sensor tower going in there. Did I get the right spot? I did get the right spot. Hooray, and there was much rejoicing. Cool, right, go. Go, my little dronies. Do your, do your work. Russia has nearly completed a milestone. Paradox Interactive has nearly completed a milestone. Ooh. Now, I'm guessing that that, I don't know. I wonder if that's, I wonder if that's water. What could, what could that possibly be? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to use a few of my orbital probes at this point, just to try and find some water. So let's see, where is there a high chance of water? There's, there's usually a good chance in craters, I find. Ah, water. Milestone achieved. Yes, and we get the research first. Ha 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 ha. Success. Success is ours. Go. Alrighty, so. Yeah, come in out to get this done. Cool. Now, as soon as we get this researched, we should have the autonomous sensors. So I, so I don't actually need to power these or ever maintain them, which will be really, really nice. Oh, and we start, by the way, with um, autonomous drone hubs. Should have shown you that up here. Where is it? Here we go. Oh no, that's that's deep metal extraction. But no, I, it's not. It's, it's not a tech boost. It's um, it's a bonus of this particular uh, sponsor complete. mission sponsor. Anomaly analyzed. Hooray! So we've got autonomous sensors. Yay! Uh, what's next? Subsurface heating. It's not staggeringly useful at this point. So uh, pause for a second. Go and, yeah, there's a key there. That'll unlock more techs. Go and unlock more techs. Um, but what I, I mean, what I really want to find is uh, like uh, wild cards, which will give me bonuses. Uh, that rocket's 43% of the way here. So let's see. That's like 80%. Go on. Oh, we've got a breakthrough. Um, that's 64, 68, 68. I want to try and get like the, 
biggest areas. Get on 91. No, nothing. Oh, 100% buildable area. It is kind of close to where I'm going to be able to scan, but go on, we'll try it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That is, that's 97. Shall I do that one as well? Go on. We've got two more keys, which is kind of less good, but that's awesome. 88 is pretty darn good. 99. Let's try that one. Whoa, another breakthrough. Sweet. 94% there. Four left. You know what? That'll do. That'll do for now. That'll do for now. Yeah. So, uh, am I gonna, I'm st am I still going to have you go and do that? Or should I do the wild card? Um, you know what? I think I'm going to go and do the wild card first. Anomaly found it's a really good scanning. idea to do those first. Oh, and we've scanned a sector. We found three, uh, three polymers, which is kind of a nice little bonus. Keep going, keep going. Where are we? Where's our, how, far, how, far, how far along is our ship? It's just about to hit 50%, which is pretty cool. There's our harvester. Should we, should we ride on board with our harvester? And there he goes. It's not our harvester, it's our RC Explorer. Okay, gonna be interesting to see what we get. I hope we get something cool. Sector scanned. The best ones, I think, are the ones that give you Resources discounts of uh, entire research trees. So you'll get like 10% off engineering, 10% off robotics, 10% off social or whatever. Uh, and if you add up how much research that gives you, it's huge. It's like the biggest research boost you can get. So. Um, or we could get just like extra research, or we could get um, extra cash. Extra cash would be really nice. I wouldn't object to extra cash. Our drones are very busy. Anomaly analyzed. We have got our autonomous sensors up and ready. So now let's have a look at the, the scanning speeds. So, yeah, so we've got a 337 boost there. We've got 218, 370, 420 there, 420 there, 381. Yeah, I should have probably done those two, but we'll, we'll let that one finish, I guess, because it looks like there's a lot of anomalies over here. So, uh, let's have a look. What did we get? Get up close and personal with Mars, and you'll find it's anything but barren. We found another treasure in the form of a small deposit of a germanium-rich mineral. We've discovered a rare metals deposit, which is like, I mean, it's kind of okay, but... There's, there's, it's not one of the best. It's not one of the best. Let's be honest. Uh, so what else have we got? We've got now we've got two breakthroughs. Um, I guess we could go and do those. But now you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna unlock. I'm gonna unlock some more. Normally I go for breakthroughs first, but I I want to I want to see what techs we've got kind of in the in our immediate future and see if we can uh, maybe target our research to get some good techs uh, early. We'll see. All right, 97%. Uh, okay, now, um, have you been harvesting and stuff? Yeah, they've been harvesting and stuff, right. We're gonna set up a fuel depot. Oh yeah. So where are we gonna have our fuel depot? Well, you think we're gonna have our fuel depot Probably just behind here, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, now I'm gonna need somewhere to put the fuel um, that's not gonna like blow everything up. Because it does happen. So let's have a fuel depot. And I'm thinking to put it like maybe there. That should be safe ish well that's where i'm putting it i'm putting it there and it is what it is so uh okay so how do we set up a fuel depot right first thing we'll grab our refinery so fuel refinery fuel refinery i'm going to put there i think any reason to space it out a bit ah, 
I suppose I could put it there. And then I'm going to take my moisture evaporator, spin it around, and slot it in right there. Again, I mean, I could, I could. Nah, I'm going to put it there. I, I kind of like having them right next to each other. And then we'll pipe them together. There's a bit of pipe there. And then we just need to power them. And I am going to power them up with a couple of solar panels because I like using solar panels early on because they're cheap in terms of maintenance so I'm going to pull up uh, let's see let's pop one there and one maybe there they not quite match up but you know what it doesn't matter that'll be fine great go 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 Okay, 99% and boom. Right, where are we going to land this puppy? Well, we're going to land this puppy up in this area. Now, where in this area? No idea. No idea. We need to find a landing spot. So, let's try and find ourselves a landing spot. So, buildable area, that's 100%. That's a possible. We've got concrete, but we've got no metals at all. That's 92, 87, 88, uh, 82. Let's try that one. Oh, freaking nothing. 88. Well, that gives us concrete little bit of metals. Um, we have got a rare metals deposit there. That's actually a good thing. So... Yeah, I think maybe, maybe just land it up here. I, I might, I might do a little bit more. I might do a little bit more probing. Because now I, I'm going to focus my scanning up down here. But I mean, I could focus scanning up here in at least like three sectors. So maybe, maybe do a bit of scanning around that. Okay, we've got more concrete water. What about down, say, this one? Oh, wild card, nice. Uh, 85, 80. Go on, let's do that one. Oh, nice bit of research points. Oh, hello, wild card, research points. A couple of vistas as well. What's this? It's 88. That's 93. Yeah, go on then. So, 93. Oh, more research points. That one. Da, nothing. 83. How many have I got left? I've got five. And let's do that one. Oh, more research points. Uh, I'll save the last four. Should I save the last four? I'll save the last four. So, where do we want to land this puppy? We've got concrete over here. Low grade. Um... Is, th is this a dust devil spawn? I think it might be, you know. We've got metals, metals. Up here we've got metals, metals. Okay, so we've got, we've got a, a decent bit of metals up there to start us off. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe in this area over here. Yeah, I think somewhere in this area. Maybe, maybe up against these rocks. Yeah, go on. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, you are going to be somewhere in here. Um, I may even put it slightly forward because I want to I want put tra uh, trade pads on either side. It would be kind of nice. So, this is a bit uneven over here. Though. Is that a bit far away? I should, maybe I should do it here. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm going to do it up here instead. So, in you go. Sector scanned. Land. Anomaly found. Come on, get down here. And it whizzes down and lands. Hooray! Cool. Alrighty, so let's get uh, the RC Explorer. Uh, where was that at? Ah, there it is. Go and scan that wild card. That's a good start. You, let's have you gathering. 
Well, like, I will want some concrete, but for now, let's get it gathering metals. Might grab those polymers as well. So, what do we, where, where do we want? Uh, we want, yeah, we want you to go and gather. Oh, I can't get those and those. Hmm. I don't know whether I want to send it over to here. So I've got a sneaky suspicion. That's a dust devil spawn. So, you, you know what? Go and, just go and get those for now. That's fine. All and unload somewhere back here is fine. Let's get our story set up. So we want, what do we want? I don't know, what do we want? Uh, we want uh, a couple of universals, which will go there. And should have the shift key down. There and there. And then we want a metals depot and a concrete depot. Nope, that's the wrong one, you bonehead. Let's go, metals depot goes up there and concrete depot is gonna go down there. All right, much rejoicing. Now, we still wanna do the same thing with the drone hub. So, where's my drone hub gonna go? My drone hub's gonna go there. So, infrastructure, drone hub, drone hub goes there, I think. Is that the right place? Yep, that's right. And then, now how did I set up my fuel depot? I put it behind, didn't I? Yeah. So I do the same thing? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, probably. It's a little bit close to that, is the only thing. Do I want to keep it away from that in case I want to put a, a, a proper concrete thing in there? I don't know. I, I don't know. I kind of like the concrete harvesters. I think that's a really cool idea. And you could just have them permanently running. And the thing is, these don't need maintenance, whereas concrete deposits need machine parts for maintenance. So the concrete harvester is a really sweet little thing. Okay, um, I think I'm actually going to move it a little bit away from the concrete, I guess. So let's put it down here. So what do I want? I want my production. I want my fuel refinery. Let's put you in. Let's put you in here for this one. Yeah. Right, so we'll put you there. Then we want life support. Uh, moisture evaporator goes flipped around there. Then we want a bit of piping. Cha-ching. And we want uh, a couple of large solar panels. Um, am I going to do the same thing? Yeah, probably. Am I? No, because I want to stay away from that. That's the thing. So I think maybe just put it like there and there for this one. Do something a bit different. Okay, so the first thing my drone needs to do is go build the drone hook. Go. Hooray. Much rejoicing. And then uh, one of you can go and work at the rocket. Hooray. Now, am I going to set up at this point any sensor towers up here? It's a good question. I think probably, I think probably the answer is yes. I think we'll probably stick one in maybe here. So, let's get. That's a wind turbine, you loony. Uh, what do I want? Sensor tower. Where's uh, infrastructure? Sensor tower. So, there. Yeah, it's the furthest to over I can get it. So, yeah, just within range. And then one at the far extent here. So, sensor tower goes in there. Hooray! And that, like, each one gives you an extra 10% boost to your, to your scanning, like, anywhere and they give a, a much higher boost to the immediate area. So, sweet. Right, we are, you're busy, you're busy. Good, Anomaly good, good, good. Analyzed. Okay, we've There's got more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. Decommission so protocol you know and low, rise, uh, low G high rise. So we've got apartments, good, and we've got the decommission protocol, awesome. Right, what are we going to get you doing now then? So, what else can we get you researching? Um, I might just have you, yeah, I might just have you do some more unlocks so that we can kind of get some more stuff. 
picked out from the from further up the tree. All right, cool. So are we producing fuel yet? That's a good question. Uh, yeah, I don't want that. Thanks very much. Let's go down here. Are we producing fuel yet? Looks like it. And our rocket, yes, is starting to get fuel. Awesome source. Anomaly analyzed. Oh, another just anomaly found analyzed. The, of Phobos II. the old probe even had some new data for us to analyze. Oh, nice. Uh, locations of several anomalies discovered. Check the map for new locations. Alrighty, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Can we see where they are? Well, I guess that's one of them. Um, is the, maybe that one as well? Yeah, it's got to be. So we've got another couple of wild cards to go and analyze. Sweet. All right, so you. Uh, what are you going to do? Where's another wild card? There's another wild card around here somewhere, isn't there? Wasn't there? Yeah, it's down here. You go and analyze that one. Cool. And then you, oh no, that is you. You are scanning that one. Yeah, well you finish that one. And when you finish that one, you go down there. So we've got three new anomalies. So it must be that one, that one, and I don't know. I don't know where the third one is. Anomaly analyzed. Okay, pause. Anomaly analyzed. There's more analyzed. to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. Explorer AI A analogy fungi. Not, not super staggering. Explorer AI, AI isn't bad, actually. It gives us an extra 100 per soul for each RC Explorer, and we've got two. So we'll get a couple of hundred extra research. That's actually pretty darn good. Yeah, so uh, I want that, and I want that before... Yeah, before hygroscopic evaporators. Um, it's actually probably better than that one. So you know what? We'll do we'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Done. All right. Uh, what are we doing next? I don't know. Uh, oh, I've got to tell this to go and analyze something else, haven't I? Yeah. Where? Let's go. Let's go do this wild card. Go and do that wild card down there. Good job. Good job. All right, go, 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 go. Sector I gotta scan. say, this is this is kind of the most fun part of the game, <laughs> in some ways. It's like the beginning of a game of Civilization. You ever play Civilization? You start a game and you've just got all the exploration to do and finding stuff and finding good locations and things. It is a lot of fun. Now the only problem is that these uh, these fuel refineries Anomaly won't run at analyzed. night. But it's not really a big deal. Our initial spectrographic analysis confirmed it. Chromium. Yes! To find such a rich deposit of such a rare metal. Important was an understatement. This is what we want. So, uh, reduces the cost of the of engineering techs by 10%. That's huge. Now, we could have a, a, a deep rare metals deposit, but there's no way I'll take that. I'll definitely take the chromium deposit for sure. Okay, so uh, we'll take that, and then we want to get you researching something else or scanning something else. We've got another wild card over here. Go scan that. Off you go. So if we have a quick look, now we should see engineering. Go engineering. So right. So instead of it costing a thousand, it's now nine hundred, and that was nine hundred, and that one. See that one was fifteen hundred. That's now thirteen fifty. And you add all those up. So that's one hundred, two hundred, three. That's three hundred and fifty that we save just on those three techs really adds up. And when you get up to the top end and you're spending like 20,000, then, you know, 10% off is 2,000 research you're saving. It's huge, it's huge. Research complete. Uh, okay, so we've now done advanced marching engines, which is, which one is that one. So rockets and shuttles require less fuel. So we needed 50 in our rocket. What are we doing next? We're doing, oh yeah, we're doing the Explorer AI. Which is which is probably a good thing. So our rockets needed 50, 50 fuel. Now, now they only need 30 fuel. Awesome, super awesome. Right, uh, our harvester has finished bringing in resources from that area. So um, where else, where else can we get you to bring some stuff in? Not really see much. Shall I just get you to, I'll get you to bring in a bit of concrete then, so. Um, yeah, just harvest that. 
Just bring us in some concrete for a bit. All right, cool. What's uh, what's our other one doing? Because our other one is probably just uh, bringing in concrete. Oh, you're not doing anything. Okay, uh, go. Let's try that again. Uh, just go and harvest those metals and bring them back here. That's fine. Go. Sector scanned. Okay, so we've got our second refinery up and running. Awesome. So we're going to be refueling this rec uh, this rocket. Now, hopefully, are you going to come out and do my sensor towers? Yes. You're, what are you bringing? Analyzed. Oh, we've done another Until anomaly. Today, the only place we thought you could find Ice-15 outside of a lab was on an icy planet or a moon. And here we find it on Mars. Woohoo! And we get half a billion in funding. Nice. Okay, <laughs> this is this is all going kind of well so far. Where's um, where's you? You're over there, so we want you to come over. Where was that other wild card? Oh, it's over, oh, right over here. Should I get you to do? Yeah, I want you to do the wild cards. Go and do that wild card. It's a long trip, but it'll be worth it. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, so we're we're scanning over here and then you know what? I may get rid of scanning that one. Let's see, that one's that one see that one's 391. That one's almost 300. That one's almost 300. So yeah, let's Oh, I've got I've got that stupid rover attached. Go away. Go away, stupid rover. There we go. Uh, so let's cancel that. We'll do, we'll do that one. That's 276. That's almost 300. Let's do that one. That's almost 300. Let's do that one. That one's 207. It's 260. Okay, I'm going to have to think about getting some more, more set up. But we can do a bit of scanning up here. Oh, we've got that sensor tower done. So let's see. This is, oh, that's 430. That's 385. Okay, let's do that one, that one. That's almost 300. That's 215. Okay, that'll do. Go. So we're doing some fairly rapid scanning. Oh, we've just done we another just anomaly. Location of a metal-rich deposit. A drilling accident turned to our advantage. Meh, just just a blooming metal deposit, really. Uh, pause. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, is it a a thousand metal? Very high grade. Okay, that could be a lot worse. Uh, what next then? What next? Um, I've still got four probes. Yeah, 73, 74. I think maybe those two, 79. Go on. That one, nothing. That one. Okay, some research points. Do I keep the last two? I think I should keep the last two. I probably should have used those two. Yeah, yeah, I'll... Uh... Yeah, that's enough. All right, so you... Well, you might as well go and get those research points now. I sup. Um... Yeah, there's only like one more wild card to be got. So go on, go and get some research points. Go and scan that. Sector Off you go. Scanned. Anomaly found. Oh. That's that one. Alrighty, cool. So where are we? We're up, we're only on day three. I gotta say, this has been a it's been a very, very good start so far. Uh I should probably get some more scanning towers put out. Uh we've just scanned another sector. Scan sector E2, which is uh, that one. And we found some rare metals, some more metals. Oh, we've got a couple of, we've got a couple, we, in fact, we've got three research boosts. That's 10%, 10%, and, oh, 20%. Ooh, I think we may be, and, look at that, and we've got a vista. Yeah, this might make a good, a good research station over here. I wonder if we could get all three in. 
Ooh, that'd be cool. You know what? Let's just um, let's just grab a dome and see. Um, I can have used it like a barrel. Uh, nah, we're only gonna get we're only gonna get two in. So, I've, oh, oh man, I don't think I can't I can't get both of the boosts and that. I'd need a bigger dome. I would need like a medium dome to do that. Uh, would a basic dome? No, nah, but a basic dome wouldn't reach. Medium dome might reach. And like, I mean, that's the 20% one up there, isn't it? Yeah, so we definitely want that one and that one. So yeah, we've got to keep our fingers crossed that a medium dome will actually do it. But, but we've got to discover a medium dome. That's going to be a while. Oh, that's frustrating. That's frustrating. Okay, well, it is what it is. You know what, guys? I think we're going to leave it there for this first episode. Uh, am I going to leave it there for this first? I kind of want to. I, I kind of want to get this. I do love my wild cards. Where's um? What are you do? Oh, why have you stopped there? Oh, did I? I must have misclicked. No, you're supposed to be headed over there. Go on, we'll scan this anomaly. I think, and then and then we'll call it a day. Yeah, so head over there. Good, good job. Right, let's check on fuel status. How are we doing in terms Research of... Research complete. Anomaly analysed. Refueling the rocket. We're up to 12 of 30. Right, we've uh, analysed another anomaly. And we've got 1,500 research points. Which means we've now got the Explorer AI researched. Which means that our research per sol is now up to 280, which is sweet. Then we're going to do the Earth Mars Initiative. That'll get us up to like 380. So yeah, we've like quadrupled our research in like the first three days, which yeah, I'm I'm gonna say that's a good start. Uh, I need to assign you to something else. Um, well, the nearest thing is now over here. Um, shall I unlock first or get points? I think I might unlock just in case we. We find something very cool. So you go and do that. Yeah, that works. And then, and then what? And then we're just really waiting for this to get done. Now it's night time, so we won't be generating any more fuel. What are we up to? 13 of 30. We've got a new anomaly, which is very cool. Um, we're on, oh, okay, we've got two more sectors up there to scan. Those are 440s. I could. You know what? Between because we're because we're about to get this scanned and, and I'll end the episode at that point. Between this episode and the next episode, I might manually get some uh, sensor towers set up because I'm going to have to micromanage getting that those set up. So that would be a good thing to do in between the two episodes. And then in the next episode, Anomaly we should analyzed. be pause. We should be able to launch our rockets back. And start thinking about bringing some colonists. The analysis tells us that we've found iridium-rich sulfur. Oh hell yeah! That's a real rarity on Earth. Reduces the cost of physics text by ten percent. Ex yeah, definitely excellent. So now all of our physics text ten percent cheaper. Jeez, that that is awesome. Ten percent off two of the five. Guys, we're gonna leave it there. You tell me. Leave me a comment. First of all, if you enjoyed this episode, it's the first episode, maybe maybe hit the like button. If you didn't like it, then then, then hit the dislike button. And uh, and leave me comments. What do you think? Is this a good start? Uh, should there be other things that I should be doing? And remember, if you, if you haven't got the game and you're interested, it's on my store. You heard it here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you later. Peace out.